Even though Elon Musk is convinced that electric technology is not ready to take over the skies, other engineers and entrepreneurs are less skeptical and attempt to develop planes, VTOLs, and other aircraft with electric propulsion. In this episode, we will show you the latest developments within the field of air transportation and will attempt to prove that Elon might not always be right. Subscribe to the channel if you're a fan of electric vehicles and let's get technical. The Munich, Germany-based startup Lilium was among the first companies in the world to successfully test their electric VTOL back in 2017. The original proof-of-concept model of the Lilium jet, codenamed the Eagle, was a two-seater aircraft powered by 36 motors with combined power output of 429 horses. The second prototype can accommodate four passengers and a pilot, being juiced by larger motors which peak at 1,300 horses but utilize only 10% of power at the cruising speed of 188 miles per hour due to the fixed wing in-flight position. This VTOL has the range of 188 miles and is getting close to production since the company received yet another influx of funds and finished the first manufacturing facility. This project was launched back in 2014, resulting in the creation of two E-Flyer models accommodating two and four passengers. As of December 2019, the company had 300 pre-orders for the two and has already demonstrated the flight capabilities of the smaller aircraft. The E-Flyer has a conventional design of a small airplane with a 38-foot wide low wing and side-by-side -side cockpit with a transparent bubble canopy. It's built using carbon fiber, so the empty two-seater should not weigh more than 1,500 pounds. It comes powered by a single Siemens motor, making 120 horses and 92 kilowatt-hour battery, offering up to 3.5 hours of continuous flight. Founded back in 2016, Vertical Aerospace has grown to employ more than 70 engineers who previously worked for such giants as Airbus, Boeing, and Jaguar. Last year, the company launched its second aircraft that is aiming for the title of the world's first production air taxi. The Seraph has already started flight tests, and according to the company, it's capable of developing 50 miles per hour speeds while carrying 550 pounds of load or up to three people. The VTOL is a manned aircraft with the design of a battery-powered passenger drone that has 12 rotors mounted on six arms. At this time, the model's actual flying range is unconfirmed, but the target number is 100 miles. Honestly speaking, the Blackfly VTOL is probably the weirdest looking electrically powered aircraft in the market. It's been under development for more than 10 years, flying over 30,000 miles as of October 2019. 
The model has eight fixed propulsion units and exists in two modifications, U.S. and international, featuring an 8 or a 12 kilowatt hour battery, respectively. The former can cover 25 miles and cruise at 62 miles per hour, while the latter covers over 40 miles and flies at 80 miles per hour. The VTOL is built with the passenger safety in mind, so it gets three fail-safe systems, with a low-power glide mode and a ballistic parachute. One of the solutions to cope with the limited battery density is to implement the hydrogen fuel cell technology. This is the route taken by the Massachusetts-based Alakai Technologies, who developed the Sky, a six-rotor multi-copter with the carrying capacity of four passengers plus the pilot. The exterior was designed by the BMW Studio Design Works and will be made out of lightweight carbon fiber. The range is finally adequate, reaching 400 miles or 4 hours of endurance on a fill-up. This flying concept is getting close to apply for testing, and the company plans to take it into the air in just 12 months. The Chinese Ehang has been developing this fully autonomous VTOL aircraft since 2014, revealing two variants of the model in 2018. The 184 is a single-seater passenger drone with eight high-performance propellers, while the 216 is its larger two-seater version that's powered by 16 motors instead. The aircraft can stay in the air for about 25 minutes and, depending on the modification, can develop maximum speeds of 62 or 93 miles per hour. In March 2020, the Ehang 216 received a preliminary operating license from the Norwegian Civil Aviation Authority and it's now planned to enter production in 2021. Your feedback about this episode is absolutely crucial, so review the entire lineup and let us know what is your favorite entry in the comments below. Like this video and let's get back to awesome EVs. Originally, Cora was developed by the California startup Kitty Hawk. However, the project's initial success was noticed by Boeing and a joint venture named Whisk Aero LLC was founded in 2019. This aircraft receives VTOL capability from six independent motors and 12 rotos flanking the cabin, while the forward motion is ensured by a fixed wing design and rear mounted propeller. Cora's current specifications are rather humble. The range is just 25 miles, and 100 mile per hour top speed won't get you places much faster than a car. But we can expect better results in the foreseeable future since the project is ramping up the pace with nearly 1,000 test flights already completed.
Unlike many of its competitors, the electric version of the Sylvanian Pipistrel Alpha is not aiming at reinventing the concept of flight, but rather simply serves as an affordable trainer airplane. It replaces the fuel tank with 277 pounds worth of lithium polymer batteries, which could be either recharged in 45 minutes or replaced in five. The flight endurance of the aircraft is 60 minutes plus reserve, which corresponds to approximately 86 miles of range. This might seem like nothing, but these numbers are perfect for the flight schools, which can greatly benefit from the affordable $1 per hour energy cost. Alpha Electric's cabin is nearly identical to the gasoline-powered version, accommodating two people with a max payload of 400 pounds. The story of EFAN by Airbus began in 2014 and it was one of the very first electric airplanes ever built. Initially, this two-seater with a 31-foot wingspan was planned for mass production as a trainer, but during the years of its development, the electric propulsion took a leap forward and there was no point in bringing an outdated technology to the market. Instead, the EFAN and its modifications were used as test mules for the company's electric flight technology which will manifest in the form of a hybrid passenger jet X-Fan. As a reminder, the latest E-Fan 2.0 was powered by two motors, 82 horsepower strong, while the flight endurance reached 60 minutes at the speed of up to 140 miles per hour. Thank you for visiting our channel, subscribe if you haven't already, hit the like button and don't think twice about watching more episodes about electric vehicles. The links are waiting for you on the screen. See you later.